in, in this pursuit of their own leadership style, is there one single, because I'm sure there are many, is there one single mistake you see many people making over and over throughout your global practice? Uh, yes, there, there, there is. One is um, we're noticing because no man is an island anymore and the command and control is not enough to get the best out of people. Uh, and if it is, it's just through fear and threat and it's very short-lived. And the war on talent, although I don't quite like this expression, but to get really good people at the moment uh, isn't as easy as it used to be. So you want to hold on to great people and you want to develop great people. The number mis- number one mistake is, um, I think, inability to speed read the room and persisting to be who you think you are, how you've always been, and using that almost as an excuse. You got me to this place. And I think as, as our um, the leader of MG100, Marshall Goldsmith, has said it in his book, what got you here won't get you there. So persistence with being how we've always been and um, fear, maybe a lack of courage to look at yourself and say, which bits of me I could grow, say goodbye to, because they don't work for me anymore. I need to mm-hmm. evolve. doesn't mean I've been bad up till now. It doesn't mean I haven't been effective. But it's that it's that invitation to keep on evolving and keep on growing, have a learner's mindset. So the one mis- mistake, number one, uh, I think I have seen is um, a, a sort of a nonsense and quite a stubborn attitude, my way or highway, and they've got to adapt. Uh, and that is very short-lived. I have seen uh, executives, I haven't coached them personally, but I have known and seen executives hit a, a glass or hit a ceiling much earlier in their career than others because the board um, was concerned about their people's skills and their mm-hmm. lack of adaptability, even though they were fantastic experts in the market. 